<laughs> There's one thing that I am extremely disappointed about working with Adam. I really wanted to see him poop on Coyote. <laughs> Bear poop. I'm glad that bear didn't poop on me. You really want that bear to poop on me? Yeah. He spit on me. I want I want every animal we work with to poop on you. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so for me this is gonna be uh, one heck of an experience. Uh, even though it's a bear that's been raised in captivity for educational purposes. He is an ambassador for his species. It is still a grizzly bear and deserves an incredible amount of respect. And I can see it right over my shoulder here and it is big. You're gonna you're gonna come hiking through this uh, game trail here across this pass. Have a camera down there getting that perspective. Adam will be coming back from that game trail leading to the bushes. There's good cover there so we can have somebody back there with him. He's gonna come out as you're passing by and he's gonna startle you and you're gonna turn around and you're gonna do what you're supposed to do. I don't know if you can tell, but I am extremely nervous. Uh, it's a really big bear, and uh, I'm sure it's all gonna go. <laughs> I don't think they're shaking, but I definitely feel it in my stomach, that's for sure. So, all right, let's get the uh, rest of the shot set up, and uh, okay. we'll check back in with you guys soon. I'm about to get swiped at by a grizzly bear. Typical Saturday morning, I'm making breaking trail. When Coyote was demonstrating the third tactic to save yourself in case of a bear attack, I mean, he, he was down on the ground, crunched in the fetal position, and that 700 pound bear was taking swipes at him, pushing his backpack, sniffing around his face. I don't know, I, I, was, I was a little bit terrified for my old friend Coyote there. I'm glad that uh, we all walked away from this one. Really tough to do a scene with a grizzly bear. So this is Adam. He is a 700 pound male grizzly bear. Quite the intimidating animal. Yes, I see you, Adam trying to deliver lines and be aware of the 700 pound animal that's right there next to you. A lot of times they'll actually sniff something out. It's difficult to keep your mental focus on what you're saying and then also keep your focus on this giant animal that's next to you. Adam luckily is a very, very uh, well behaved bear. He was very, very kind to us, gave us a lot of great opportunities to get the shots that we needed. But at the end of the day, he's, he's the one running the set, not us. Yeah, at one point he was taking a break and he rolled over onto his back and his tummy was all exposed and I was just like doing this. I mean, he was probably a little scared, right? But I couldn't help but I wanted to touch his belly so bad. Uh, I loved Adam. What did you guys think of the roar in the face? Jeez. Yeah, that's a big set of teeth right there. Coyote's got some stones, just say that. I could have done it. For me, this was a once in a lifetime experience and such an honor to be out here in the wilderness of Montana and to get to work with one of its top predator inhabitants, the grizzly bear. Yeah, it's really good working with these, these animals that are ambassadors for their species because it's really bringing awareness to a lot of people that probably don't have much knowledge about them. And without knowledge, you can't conserve and the conservation is what's most important. Okay, action. No words can explain what it's like to be in the presence of a grizzly bear like Adam. I think a lot of people are afraid of grizzly bears, you know, so hopefully this scene will show people that, you know, if you just do the right things, you follow these two or three steps that Coyote um, sets out for us, then you don't have to be afraid of them, you just have to respect them and be able to share the environment with them, and then more grizzly bears can thrive out here in Montana. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters, and don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. This episode of Breaking Trail was brought to you by the Buy Power Card from Capital One. Every purchase brings you closer to a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac vehicle.